Uh, this is John for PowerYourself.com. This is part two of the uh, casting of the the refractory hearth. Um, I'm going I'm mixing up. You can see here's some perlite, here's some silica, it's ground silica, and then here's some Portland cement. So I'm going to go ahead and mix this together. Uh, you want to make sure this is mixed real good. Um, using a garden trowel um, and or a hoe, and I'm going to go ahead and mix this up. I may double this. I don't quite think this is going to be enough. This still, you still add two parts um, of the fire brick to this mixture. And this is what I was using as my measure, just a cut up gallon uh, water bottle. And so one, one of these was, it was the mixture ratio is 1.5 parts of the Portland cement, two parts of the ground silica, um, let's see, 1.5 parts of the perlite, and then two parts of the fire brick. So this equaled 0.5 parts. So I did three of three of these scoops of the Portland cement, four on the silica, and three on the perlite so far. And so this is how much material I got. Um, so remember, I would still need two more parts um, fire brick to this. So that might that might be enough. I'm not sure how much to make. I don't. I obviously don't want to. Uh, I need to make enough because I don't want to have to go back and quickly mix it again and have have it partially setting. I want to pour it all at once. So I may just make a little extra just to make sure that I have enough cement to pour that the mold. And you can see I got the mold. Let me pan the camera over here for a second, and I'll show you the mold. The mold is is just right over there. So I got it all bolted up. You can see here, we got it all bolted together. And I'm just gonna try to get it in there. I know I'm gonna get some in the center. I'd like to have a circular cover there, but I don't have anything made and I'm just gonna get this done. So we'll see how it turns out. Maybe I'll get some lessons learned next time. You can also see up here, it's a little light. It looks like I ground through uh, the edge, but luckily this is above this surface. I'm not really going to be filling past that, but it's like when I was grinding, I ground through my weld. Anyway, that's that's the update. This is part two. I'll keep looking for 